Mr. Spire, now turn to uh, Ms. Elmers of North Carolina for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Lazinski, I, there again, we've, we've had numerous conversations on this issue, mm -hmm. and, and I, again, commend you for coming forward, especially in the spirit that you're doing so, which is looking for solutions. Mm -hmm. But as we all know, many times, in order to find the solutions, you also have to identify what the problems are, and you have to be willing to make changes um, that are necessary to do so. With that, I would like to say, and, and I know that you've looked at this issue, I know that this is something that's very important to you because you care very much about your employees. Again, pointing out that many of these individuals are low income, many of these individuals, 85%, are minority, and you em employ those who have formerly been in prison, and now you're giving them, you and Kathy have offered them a second chance. Some of the discussion here today has focused around the, uh, the idea that many of your employees, because they are low income, would therefore be able to um, qualify for Medicaid. And maybe some of them already are on Medicaid, that, you know, to the best of your knowledge. That's my knowledge. I think, yes, quite a few of them are. And I guess my question to you is, and, and looking at this and, and the testimony that you've submitted, You've pointed out that, you know, basically what you'll have to do is cut back employees to under 30 hours, or, or what we're now calling the 29ers, because essentially at 29 hours, you're not obligated. Correct. The point being, do your employees want to be cut back hours? Oh, no, definitely not. Yeah. Do your employees want to work more than 40 hours? Yes, most of most of our employees do work. I mean, we're it, it our, our business is not like nine to step nine to five. Right. They go do a certain amount of jobs during the day, and and believe me, when we have Saturday work, they line up for the overtime. And and the majority of our employees, at least in our construction division, work more than forty, and 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 they're always begging to work Saturday so they can pick up that extra time and a half money. Absolutely. So the point here is that these are individuals who want to better their lives. These right. are individuals who want to work, mm -hmm. earn an income. You are an employer mm -hmm. that wants to offer these jobs. You want to grow as a business, do you not? Yes, I do. Yes. In the present situation, facing the implementation of the Affordable Care Act, mm -hmm. do you see your business growing? Uh, no. This Well, this is the first year since we've started that we haven't grown, and, and that was pretty much our decision because we, we don't know what the effects of this law is. We don't want to hire more people and have to lay them off or hire more people and have to uh, get them over, over 30. So what we've been trying to do is, is just been on jobs for our present customers. Right. We haven't been, we haven't been expand, trying to expand our customer base this year um, because last year we were, we were pretty much getting close to 300 employees mm -hmm. and, and, and because of what the effect this law was going to be on um, that we haven't, we haven't tried to grow this year until, until we, and hopefully we come up with a solution for us and Certainty. then we will, and then we will can hopefully continue to grow.